Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a plan with me in my Louis Vuitton large ring or GM agenda for the week of July 18th through the 24th. So um, a lot of things to do this week, a lot of prep. So for those of you that are new to my channel or might not know, I got married in May and I officially changed my last name after I went to residency for the first time just because I didn't want to interfere with my plane tickets. And so I waited for that and then I went into the social security office a few weeks ago and officially like legally changed my name and now I need to go and get my driver's license changed. You have 30 days, yeah, DPS um, is still requiring appointment only. There's no walk-ins, at least where I'm at in the Austin area and I looked at several of them and it was like, I'm pushing my limit on that 30 day mark. So I like have to make this appointment and it's gonna be on Tuesday, but I will officially have like my real, like I got my social security card already in the mail, um, but my ID is still like inaccurate. And so this week is really going to be updating my last name and it's a lot, like I feel like the list is so much longer and like this is grouped into things, right? So if you're gonna change your last name when you get married, um, it's a process. <laughs> And it's a very long process, but obviously very worth it. Um, but like when I put like update and like I have to update my bank, I have three different banks. Uh, I have two like regular banks and then a credit union. When I say accounts, I mean like Amazon and like Aaron Condren and like the littlest things that you don't think of. There's just like so many things that you have to update. And then like I have a lot of stuff, you know, with my blog that's under my maiden name that I'm going to have to change as well for tax purposes. Like it's going to have to be under the correct name. So I have to change all that. And I didn't even write that down. Um, blog account updates. And then different things like credit cards, uh, my car. So my car is going to be pay paid off this year. And so I really need to change that name before um, my title comes in. So I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, different things like that. So name change is the biggest thing. Also, I need to confirm travel dates. So um, I shared last week. And also, I just really want to say that I really, really, really love everyone, all of my followers, everyone who's reached out. We had a very big loss um, last um, 4th of July week. So not this week that I'm filming, um, but the week before. And so... Um, I shared it a little bit on Instagram and I don't want to go into details, but it's uh, still weighing on us, of course, and something that we're still, you know, navigating through, but y'all are just amazing. I love how supportive everyone is just for like the ups, but also for the downs and I like can't be more thankful for that just because it's, it's truly incredible that, you know this blog is able to connect so many different people in so many different ways and I've actually been able to talk to a few people who kind of went through or are going through something similar which was actually kind of um nice I, I want to say nice but you know it's just it's helpful um but yeah we um are still also like navigating again as I mentioned all of this and uh, trying to get back into our routine. We were in Virginia for a week and with that I have residency at, let's go to the monthly view, I have residency at the end of August and or the beginning of August and I was going to go visit my best friend in Colorado and I actually changed my trip because I just don't um, want to be gone too long anymore, um, at least right now with everything that's happened and so I'm still gonna go see her and she's completely she's, she's my best friend of course she completely understands um but I'm still gonna go see her mainly because I mean because I want to see her of course but also because with the flight that I have for Portland with the way the rental cars work or at least the one that I always go to I have to be there before 12 on Saturday so I have to leave very early from Denver on um, Saturday to make it and so 
I know I already changed my ticket. I'm just double checking right wow. now. I'm leaving Wednesday night, so just a day later. I think it's because the price of the ticket was pretty high, and I used points for the first time. So either way, I wanted to cut my trip short, and I leave like 10.40 <laughs> at night. So I'm pretty much here all day Wednesday, but I'll have two days with her, and I think I also wanted to keep the trip like fair. So I have two days with her essentially. We're both gonna be working from home. Um, I leave Saturday morning for Portland. I'll be in Portland and um, I come back still that Friday. So I'm gone for a little over a week, but uh, I really I kind of wish I can make it a little bit shorter. But I think I remember now that the tickets were just way too high to change it, but I'll just be gone a little over a week. Um, so current plans and Updating all that. There's nothing that I really need to add in here. So let's set up my hourly. So here's what my hourly currently looks like. I mentioned in my last plan with me that I was probably gonna change into my single hour. And so I did a plan with me on Instagram and TikTok for you guys where I set this up because I think I did it like the next day. Whenever I say something out loud, I really think about it and then I end up doing it like instantly. Um, within 24 hours at least and so I did switch over to the single hours and I really like having the gym in there and having this extra space um, mainly because I want we wanted to start getting back into meal planning and so I just added that down here and then I have additional notes for whatever I need to but you also get more hours right so I have my gym time I also have I can plan late at night because I generally don't go to bed until like 11 or 12 anyways so if anything pops up, I can put that in there. So yeah, this is how the current week look. I'm going back and forth. So as y'all know, I, I don't know, oh here. So I always block out when I work, but my job is a little different. Um, it's like a real salary job. And so not that my other job wasn't a real salary job, but it's really just like, there's not a definitive like start stop time and it's just work, you know, eight hours is the expectation. Um, but make sure to like check your final email by this time just in case something's needed. Um, but for the most part, it's been like eight to five and I haven't taken lunches. I just have really liked that routine of actually taking a lunch. I used to work through lunch in my last job and like I'll do things like pick up an order at Target or something like that. So. I've been fine with the eight to five. Um, this class that I'm currently into is a little less chaotic too. So I think before with all my like classes, I really just wanted to get off work so I could focus on everything that I need for school. And now I don't really have that issue, at least in this class right now, which is nice. Um, but I still want to block out times. It's just, there's too much openness in this layout for me. And I really just need my definitive like blocks because that's how I like to think of time and that's why I love the hourly so much. So I found my Uniball Fine Line um, pen. I believe I got this in Papery Planning, maybe cloth and paper. A planner shop, but you can definitely get them on Amazon. Um, this is the light gray. And instead of using black um, to mark out my hours like I used to do, right, when I had those like hard start and stop times, I'm going to do this light gray and I feel like it'll give me enough and I'm going to consider these like working hours. And so I know like I'm working eight to five, however, I could start earlier and um, earlier, start later and later, but these are like my working hours and that's kind of what... Um, they have set in my job because we're all on different time zones too and so we have like a definitive like working hours between I think it's 9 to 5 30 for sure 9 to 3 um, but like they have a hey just make sure you check your final email one last time at 5 30 um, before you end the day just in case and so I want to do like a definitive working hours with the scrape pen with that. Uh, long story short, we're just using a different color pen. This is gonna be a very long plan with me if I keep talking the way I am. Um, but I just feel like I really want to share um, reasonings more with you guys and explain processes more. So just because it's not a hard like start and stop time, although I have been starting essentially every day at eight, um, it could change, right? Like I could start at 7.30 or something like that. 
but I want to have this in here really just so I can like visually see you know I'm for sure at least working these hours and that's why we're gonna call them working times uh, but yeah let's put these in until like I said it's eight to five so I'll do that and then I like the gray because um, the lines in here are gray but also it's not as dark as the black right so it's not like it's a hard cut off and that's I went digging through my closet for these pins um, so I could use it for this because it's just the right amount of bold actually if it was a smidge lighter I think I'd like it a little bit more but it's like this is perfect So there are my working hours and then we have so many meetings that uh, I'm only going to really use the meeting stickers to block times. I kind of like this system so I think I'm going to continue that on days where I know there's going to be like a lot of meetings. For example this Tuesday we have a lot of meetings back to back and instead of like listing them out because there's also a lot of half hour meetings so it just... Um, a lot, but actually it looks like there's one at 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3, and that one ends at 4, so I really have meetings all, all afternoon, so, uh, we'll just do a very long line. And then my appointment, and I'm actually starting a little bit later. on Tuesday again because of that appointment and that's at 8 so let me get my dot I have another meeting Monday Mondays are like good working days so if there's a meeting it's really not you won't see too many from what I've noticed at least right now All right, but we have that, and then let's see. As of right now, no other meetings during the week, so we'll just leave this here for now. Um, for this week, I will need to finish up coursework. I also have to finish a presentation for class, although I have another week, but in residency, we have two presentations that we have to do. I have a group one, and then I have a single one you do content and then we are going to put the meals back in here just because I really loved having that in here so I'm going to do the same thing where I just highlight it and then I do want to put in my travel plans already just so I can reference it because I know I'm going to need it throughout the week Okay, so I have those in there, and then, but yeah, other than that, I have my travel plans in here, I have my name change, my hourly is set up, and I do like this, like, light gray outline. I might go in and do it later. I don't know where I put that pin for this current week to finish it up. I'll put in meals probably on Sunday or Monday. It's way too, like, early to plan this out and typically like I don't know if y'all can see it we really only do like a few days and these aren't like set in stone like I think we had pasta this day tacos this day it's really just so I know that we have a meal for each day um and also to keep in mind like expiration dates because I think that's the biggest thing when you're meal prepping but yeah other than that that is gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching